Hello folks, uh, Sunday morning, <coughs> beautiful day in London, well a bit cloudy but, but it's getting warm, bit of fab, a bit of um, 90 pound <coughs> cold pressed paper, uh, lovely stuff, I, I'm painting this over one I did yesterday, the uh, stream through the wood, I didn't like it, it's doing alright on Facebook and YouTube but <coughs> when I look at it it's very muddy too much paint spray in it. So I'm going to try have a go doing it again in, in three or three colours. Just take this palette out. <coughs> more colours, more confusion. So we've got a cadmium yellow. Very, very nice, lovely colours, my favourite yellow. <coughs> but these these are Cotsman watercolours, I'll show you in a minute. Bit of a bit of a room. Well oh, that's still soft. And a lump of of indigo. So if I I'll do this with a uh, alizarin crimson. Uh alizarin crimson, I won't use the light red. Uh, um alizarin, uh indigo and cadmium yellow. <coughs> so I'll give this paper a bit of a bit of a wet. And when this uh, it's a bit baggy I'll re-clip it and just give it a good good coat all over. <coughs> Oops hit, hit the camera. Okay, that'll do. Right, let's get a, a blush of alizarin and a bit of the uh, yellow. Nice bit of warm. What I'm aiming for is a bit of a stream through the middle, of course, because I mentioned it. Uh, but I want the banks and I want the trees to some of the trees have come up from the bottom. I keep ending up with them on the horizon and I, and I look at it and I think, oh, it's going to be samey. <coughs> so we'll uh, change that, hopefully. I bought uh, 40 sheets of this from Ken Bromley. Put a bit of uh, bit of blue. Okay, now we'll mix that with a bit of alizarin. Oh, we get a bit of bit of cloud shadow. Okay, I'll do. Paint, I'll paint the uh, reflection of the sky in the water when I do the sky. <clears throat> and the, the thing is about watercolour, it dries a lot lighter than when you put it on. So you have to make allowances for that. Um, I'll uh, just let that shine go off a little bit. Don't most of your tea. No, oh, let's put in a bit of bit of background now. Got some alizarin.
okay. I'll give that a bit of a well. That's a now that just fill in. There's a bit of a hair. So good off. Don't do this when it's nearly dry. Gotcha. Alright, so get a card. Adjust. No, still too wet. I'll dry it off. So take your headphones off, folks. So now um, the critical part of, a, of a wetting wet watercolour is that stage when the shine starts to go off the shine, uh, go off the uh, from the paper. It, it's deadly. It's to leave alone. You've got about a minute, minute and a half when it's wet to do the wetting wet, but then either leave it to dry or air, air dry it, hair dry it. <coughs> Right now, I want to start getting a bit of a background in now. So I use my large, new large hake. Uh, so I'll have let's have a bit of, bit of nice. Nice colour here. What's trees coming up out of this? Now I've got. Um, couple of colours, well put all the colours on it. So I've got the alizarin. And the uh, yellow and the indigo. All the bits of, the, different bits of the brush. Now you can see this is not, it's not so smooth this paper as it won't take dry brush. A bit, bit blue in there. Okay, leave that there. And we carry on with that texturing in the foreground. I have to put quite a bit of water in the brush to get it to run. I leave a bit of sparkle, so you could get a lovely dark with those three colours mixed. Oh. But you do need some water.
vivid colours. You can all, almost replicate a uh, burnt sienna. Right, put that back. Let's see if that, well, I'll put some more texture on this, but. Right, let's get some some nice texture on the other side. Nice, nice green, or a lovely green. I'm trying not to make this too muddy. It's difficult avoiding mud. Okay. Try not to uh, get um, both sides looking the same. Gotta break this. This hake is, is lovely, but it's uh, too square at the moment. <coughs> you get the, instead of getting a round edge, you sense to be getting a straight edge. Right, uh, okay, we'll put a bit of background in. So a bit, bit, bit bluer. Okay, right, let's get some more texture in that now. So, Lutheran. Okay, well we've got plenty of colour in there from the three colours. So now I'm going to dry it off and then we'll get some get some nice trunks in there. So take your headphones off. Tone, tone and texture. <coughs> right, and I want a dark bit for 
for uh, I was going to say then. So let's uh, I'll finish this with a rigger. Okay, that's uh, sort of one in. Let's put it in. Oh, that one's less intense. I'll, I'll, I'll anchor them when they dry into the landscape <clears throat> blue the background ones Put some leaves on there. Leaves. Uh, let's get something on the other side now. Bit of work on the rigger, but I'll, I'll do that at the end. I think this is just something that this sort of calligraphy is a real bonus for the hake.
Right, no, we don't want, we've got two big trees there, we don't want two big trees there. A lot of folks do. I'm sort of try to think it's making a frame for the centre of the picture, but it doesn't. You, your eyes tend to go from one side to the other. Well, a bit of a bit of very very gentle reflection in this screen, stream, screen. Okay, that'll do. Right now, I think I'll use old Frank Clark's brush here. To smash up, smash, 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 smash. Oh, we need some water on the palette before we do that. Otherwise, it'll be far too dry. So, dry it off. Smash the brush up. Then. Do that nice and dark. Like a nice green. Plenty of uh, depth in the top. Whoops. Right, some some in there. Right, now we get some yellow on the outside of these. Okay, so we've got shadow. Right, so let's clean the brush again and go on the other side, see what we can come up with. Now I'll get some darker greens at the top here a bit of light coming through so we've uh, sort of framed the uh, top of the picture with this uh, lovely indigo. Oh, I need a bit more of that indigo because I'm going to get some more dark in there.
okay. Right, I'll give that a dry, then we'll do a bit of rigor work. I just thought of something, let's see if we can just... No, I don't think I've ruined that. Rig up. Bit of dark. Oh, I'll sign it. No birds, no room for any birds. Okay, well there we are. Quite a just let's uh, just go up high enough so that you I can't zoom out very when I'm close with this one, this camera. So I just have to Oh it's just a it's a very good camera. <coughs> I bought it um oh I think it must be late last year on eBay. I was a uh, Got it for 80 quid. So Canon Leg Rear. Can't remember what number. Canon Leg Rear. Says there somewhere. It's got quite a bit of oil paint on it now. But the rear, really good. I'm very really pleased with it. The only thing I don't like about these cameras, and unless you get one from America, a camcorder, this one tends to. Uh, 
start another video off at about an hour. So you can't <coughs> to say record continuously for two or three hours. <coughs> I think it's got something to do with um, tax and these cameras being able to do what uh, far more expensive uh, I don't know SLR cameras can do and I don't know much about cameras. I struggle with this one trying to get the focus right and so on. But anyway, I hope you like that one. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day folks, I'm not going to do any more. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.